Welcome to the Coding Loft. My name is Samuel and in today's video you will learn how to spin up a development server in your Webpack project so you can see the changes that you make your source files immediately. So right now it says this is Webpack and TypeScript dev server. If I make a change right here, let's say cool, right? And I save it. You can see that it is automatically added to our file and we have the development server set up at localhost 3300. And that way we don't need to compile our code every time we make a change, but the development server immediately shows us what we have changed in the file, which is pretty cool, right? If you don't know how to set up Webpack and TypeScript in the first place, then check out our other video. We need to install a package called install Webpack dev server. And this is a development dependency. So we say dash save dev. And once you've installed it, let's jump to the Webpack config file. And here we can add a additional property called dev server. And for the dev server, we then again can specify a couple of different options. So first let's take the static property, which basically means the path where we can find static files that we want to use in our dev server. So here we again say path.join and we just specify the current directory. So this is the folder where you would, for instance, keep specific images, JPEGs, PNGs, and sometimes you might want to have them in a separate folder called assets. But right now that's not for us the case, so we just leave this out. Then we say compress equals true, meaning that the files will be gzip compressed and that will make the loading faster. Then we can specify a port, let's say 3300, and then hot for hot reloading is true. So that means anytime we make changes to our source files, the hot reloading will then show the changes directly inside of our development server. So to make our dev server work perfectly, we actually want to install a plugin called HTML Webpack plugin. This plugin will create a HTML file that automatically has the script and style files added. So when we run the dev server, it will automatically inject the script and the style into the index. And we can see the changes as we make them to our source files. So for this, let's install npm install dash save dev. Again, it's a development dependency and the package is called HTML Webpack plugin. And here's how you use it. Inside of webpack.config, we want to import it at the top. So we say const HTML webpack plugin equals require, and then we require the HTML webpack plugin. And then we add a new configuration option called plugins. And this again is an array because we could add several plugins. So we create a new instance of the HTML webpack plugin. And here we can provide some configuration options. So for the title that will show in the document, we can say dev server. And as the template, we want to use our index file, so index.html. And now lastly, we just need a command to run our dev server. So we say serve, and here we say webpack, serve, and then the mode will be development. Let's try it out, npm run serve. This should spin up a development server at localhost 3300. Yes, that's what happened. Let's open it up. And you can now see this is Webpack and TypeScript, this is Webpack and TypeScript. And the reason it's added twice is because in our index file, we have already added the bundle.js file. So let's delete this for now. And now you can see this is just the JavaScript that is added from the development server. So if we look at the body, we can see that the heading has been added from our function. And here's the script. So script defer, so it waits until the document is loaded and then it adds bundle.js. That's what the development server does. So let's check out the hot reloading. Inside of add heading, for instance, I could say development here. And now it has recompiled and our dev server shows the changes, which is pretty cool because then we don't need to run our build command every time we make a change to test it, but we can see it immediately as we change our project code. <laughs> 